when Princess Eugenie's husband Jack Brooks Bank was spotted on a boat with bikini-clad models in Capri last month, while she looked after their baby at home, her mother, the Duchess of York, leapt to his defense to insist he was just doing his job. While that was true, Jack is a brand ambassador for Cosmigos Tequila, which was sponsoring a charity bash on the Mediterranean island, he is now preparing to take on a more serious role. I hear the 35-year-old son of top chartered accountant George Brooks Bank is to become a director of his father's business, Pangea Land and Property Limited. More from Juliet Conway for the Daily Mail. Eden Confidential, Poetic Justice. T. S. Elliot's Cat's Cash to Help Save Literary Drove December 8, 2021 Eden Confidential, Tycoon Lands on Mayfair. But his MI5 hotel plans don't pass go. November 8, 2021 Eden Confidential, It's a Million Pound Bonanza for Busy B. Sir David Attenborough October 8, 2021 Eden Confidential, John Stonehouse's daughter hits dead end over truth about runaway MP September 8, 2021 The Mermaid who LL become a Countess, Earl Mountbatten's son Nicholas Natchbull, who was Prince Charles' godson weds his fiancée of two years Amber Puse who is a Merlesque performing mermaid July 30, 2021 Eden Confidential, Samantha Cameron's £2 million tumble in the fashion stakes July 29, 2021 Eden Confidential, it's 26 years late. But I'd love to finish my degree at Oxford, says Kate Beckinsale July 28, 2021 Eden Confidential, Martin Bashir is revealed to have paid himself a £50,000 bonus even as his underhand Diana interview tricks were exposed July 27, 2021 Eden Confidential, Grey Matter Fright for Fifty Shades writer Al James as she suffers bout of temporary amnesia July 26, 2021 View Full Archive George, 72 who was gravely ill with COVID last year, quietly stepped down in June. The firm is coroned by William Legg, 10th Earl of Dartmouth, whose grandmother was the romantic novelist Dame Barbara Cartland. Now that his father has retired, it's time for Jack to take over and to take on a more serious role to support his family, says my insider. The couple and six-month-old son August live at Prince Harry and Meghan's former home, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, and have always enjoyed a busy social life with friends including singer Ellie Goulding and Hollywood star Demi Moore. But many were surprised to see Jack cavorting with a bevy of glamorous women this summer, one of whom, at one point, was topless. Jack is a man of such integrity, Fergie said after the pictures emerged. I call him James Bond, actually. He is a great father, a fabulous husband and he's never at front of house, he always likes to be at the back. Eugenie described him recently as the ultimate father to our boy. The smart sets talking about. Billionaire Rubin's first grandchild property heir David Rubin Jr., who was due to inherit a chunk of his father's fortune, estimated at £21 billion jointly with his business partner brother, once declared that material possessions are of zero importance. So his next role will, no doubt, be his most rewarding yet, as I can reveal the 41-year-old formerly one of Britain's most eligible bachelors, is to become a father. His wife, Colombian actress Carolina Carrubin, 34, is due to give birth later this year. Property heir David Rubin's wife, Carolina Carrubin, 34, is due to give birth to their first child later this year. He guess the cat's out of the bag, says David. Carolina and I are so excited to be having a child. She is doing amazingly, and we feel very fortunate to be surrounded by so much love during this time. He and Carolina, who
who starred in the TV series Da Vinci's Demons, married three years ago at Burning Man Festival, a hippie Ashar Jamber E in Nevada for which she wore a barely their metallic dress. The well-connected couple, who count financier Nat Rothschild and pop star Justin Bieber among pals, live in Los Angeles, where David is a music executive. The news also means his father, David Sr., whose property empire with brother Simon includes Mayfair's Burlington Arcade and Westminster's Millbank Tower, will become a first-time grandfather. A perfect match for Thandiway stylish Hollywood star Thandiway Newton is taking fashion coordination to a whole new level. While upgrading furniture with a friend at her North London home, the 48-year-old was suddenly struck with sartorial inspiration. My wing woman and I got very excited when there was leftover fabric from my reupholstered chaise lounge, explains Thandy Way, who has reverted to the original Zimbabwe and spelling of her first name. So we made bikinis, teamed with Wolverine-style kitchen utensils. The mum of three delighted fans by sharing her creation online, but seven-year-old son, Booker, was harder to impress. Oh my god, mummy, what's wrong with you? He asked. He dabbled in cocaine and heroin in his youth, but these days punk icon Johnny Rotten is addicted to Kim Kardashian's favorite moisturizing cream, which costs up to 1,700 pounds. I buy creme de la mer. It's the best face cream in the world, says the Sex Pistols star. I squeeze a ton of it onto my face. It really does work. It costs an arm and a leg, but if you want your arm and your leg to look good, do it. The picky 65-year-old, whose real name is John Lydon, adds, I've tried that Bootsy 45 but I find it to be like rubbing chalk on, it's so dense. Oil of Ole has been around forever but it doesn't seem to do anything, it just sits there until it evaporates. Kate happy to let, many, moss grow under her feet She's one of the most successful models in the world, but Kate Moss does not want to outshine her rising star of a daughter. The 47-year-old, who has appeared on more than 40 British Vogue covers, appears to be scaling back her own modeling as Lila, 18, takes the fashion industry by storm. Kate will always model, but her main focus now is her talent agency, says a friend, referring to Moss's eponymous firm, set up in 2016. She's delighted that Lila is doing so well. Lila, whose father is magazine editor Jefferson Hack, is signed to her mum's agency and has starred in campaigns for Miu Miu and Marc Jacobs Beauty. Kate's decision to step back is reflected in newly published accounts which reveal a significant downturn at her Skate LLP and Tilly Church firms. Skate LLP shrunk to a zero net worth last year from just over £139,851 in 2019, while sister firm Tilly Church has gone from being £1. 8 meters in the black in 2019 to £329,711 in the red as of November 2020. Former wild child India dreams of quiet nights in rebellious porn heiress India Rose James had a child with a rock star and at 21 was richer than the Queen, but insists she prefers the quiet life now. I don't like being out of lockdown, she tells me at the launch of Bibo restaurant at the Mondrian Shoreditch Hotel, East London. I'm juggling opening up the Soho Review Gallery, being a mother and now having to maintain a social life after having done nothing except sit in front of my laptop. The 29-year-old, who inherited a large portion of her porn publisher grandfather Paul Raymond's £1 billion Soho Estates property empire,
prefers being at home with her four-year-old daughter, whose father is the Kooks guitarist Hugh Harris, and her boyfriend, gallery owner Bo Distasi, 26. Tired of waiting around for grandchildren, Eaton educated Roddy Campbell, father to top model Edie, has found another way to expand the family aged 61. The entrepreneur's 32-year-old wife, Alif Kudzel, gave birth to their second child this week, and Roddy jokes, my children are slow, so I'm having my own grandchildren. He and business consultant Alif, whom he married in 2016, welcomed their first child two years ago. As well as Edie, he also has two other children from his first marriage. Dame Joan Bakewell hoped to have a pleasant evening at the proms this week, but was infuriated when she had to pay £12.75 for a small glass of white wine at the bar. It's not what I am used to paying, the TV presenter, 88, tells me. I think it's to do with the Royal Albert Hall rather than the The Proms, it's perhaps an extortionate venue. I am used to paying £6 to £8. Simples. Top Chef Seasy Nosh Recipes Move Over, Delia. There's a new simple food cookbook queen in town. Having fed the rich and famous for decades at her organic Kensington restaurant Clark's, a favorite of Harry and Meghan, Sally Clark is now being hailed the new guru of easy home cooking with the release of her gentle guide, First Put On Your Apron. Featuring classics such as Kedgeri and Tuna Sandwiches, the 30 pounds book was inspired by her son, Samuel. I started writing when he was about to move to uni, she tells me. With two lockdowns, I slightly dragged my feet, he has now graduated Dash, but I'm hoping there will be other young people just leaving home, or older young people who have focused on their career rather than home. Sally hopes her book is more light-hearted than Delia Smith's culinary bibles. Move over, Delia. There's a new simple food cookbook queen in town. Having fed the rich and famous for decades at her organic Kensington restaurant Clark's, a favorite of Harry and Meghan, Sally Clark is now being hailed the new guru of easy home cooking with the release of her gentle guide, First Put On Your Apron. Featuring classics such as Kedgeri and Tuna Sandwiches, the 30 pounds book was inspired by her son, Samuel. I started writing when he was about to move to uni, she tells me. With two lockdowns, I slightly dragged my feet, he has now graduated Dash, but I'm hoping there will be other young people just leaving home, or older young people who have focused on their career rather than home. Sally hopes her book is more light-hearted than Delia Smith's culinary bibles. Drawn on at Princess Anne's home estate she was the first British royal to compete in the Olympics, and now Princess Anne is giving fellow horse lovers a chance to trot in her footsteps. The Queen's daughter, who turns 71 tomorrow, has opened her glorious Gloucestershire estate to allow riders to practice in the grounds for £25 an hour. By kind permission of HRH the Princess Royal and Gatcombe Park estate, Gatcombe Park XC Hire offers a small selection of cross-country fences available for schooling, confirms a spokesperson. The Princess Royal competed in the 1976 Games, and her former husband, Mark Phillips, won gold in Munich in 1972. Very, modern manners were all fastidious hand washers these days, but should we ditch the posh soap before guzzling champagne? Double Michelin starred chef James Nappett, a protege of Gordon Ramsay, reveals he won't stock any high-end ones at his Fitzrovia restaurant, Kitchen Table, when it reopens next month after a revamp. One of my favorite soaps is incredible, but the scent lingers on the hand. 
Then, if you have a glass of wine, you end up smelling seagrass and fennel when you want to be smelling champagne, he declares.